Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I am an old guy gaming, and we are going to um, go after probably an Argentavis, I think, in this episode. So, uh, as you saw in the, the opening sequence there, um, I picked myself up a baby uh, Carnotaur, and um, she grew up extremely fast, and with one imprint, she was 100% imprinted. <laughs> <laughs> these settings are just so OP and I, I even went back in and looked and it's just set to the default setting of one uh, for the imprinting and all that kind of thing. So yeah, I think it's just because again, I'm on these single putter settings. Um, so yeah, we got the, this car Carno here and, um, I also showed here, let's, uh, what are we doing? We're, let's do some melee damage. Um, and then I also got a, a new Raptor uh, to a female Raptor this time. And so, uh, or no, sorry, male, male Raptor. And he was, uh, he was pretty high level. I can't remember exactly what level he was, but he was up there. And so let's give him uh, some health here. And let's see. So I went off camera. I went over to, uh, what's called Crags Island, which is that Island over there looking to see if I could find any metal or crystal. And I, and there, I didn't find any, so I don't think there's, as far as I know, anyways, I don't think there's any metal or crystal at all on that island. So, what do we got here? A level 8 and a level 20. Um, I also checked my settings, and apparently, for some reason, the uh, max difficulty setting was turned off. I, I distinctly remember enabling that when we first started this series, but it might have been a thing where I didn't hit the save button um, because I haven't seen, you know, any anything above 100, uh, not even 100, actually, so far. So I'm think, I I thought to myself, well, I should probably check that. And sure enough, I haven't done that. So um, so that is now set uh, or turned to on. Um, I still, on the on a very rare occasion, get a crash, but it's much, much better, you know, with keeping the NVIDIA latency thingamadoodle turned off. Uh, but I did uh, come across another bug, and that is that if you go in to name anything, whether it's a chest or a dino, um, then the cursor gets stuck and, and you can't, uh, I haven't been able to figure out how to get back out of there without logging out of the game or, or at least logging to the main menu and back in. So kind of a pain in the ass. Hopefully something they'll fix pretty soon. As you can see, I did a little bit of uh, change here in the base. I extended it out a couple more foundations and added a whole bunch more chests sideways because storage is just a pain in the ass without the stacking mod. Uh, so, yeah, I've got these set up. I got them named. So this one is stone. This is wood and thatch, fiber, hide, chitin, chemicals, ammo, weapons, tools, armors and saddles, blueprints and building and just miscellaneous stuff. So, you know, when I get things like spino fins and the, I've killed a couple really low level spinals 
stuff that, you know, tributes, basically is what we call those. Um, we will, you know, put those there for the time being. Okay, so I've been thinking about where we're going to build our permanent base. And I kind of like the idea of building at or very, very near the red obby. So that way we just have access to the obelisk, particularly since we're not going to be using cryopods. Um, you know, it's going to be a pain to, to get all of our dinos over there. Um, the only thing I don't like about the southwest part of the island is there's not, there isn't really any metal nearby that I'm aware of. Um, if there is metal kind of over on that ridge along the western shore, I don't know where it's at. Um, I took the, the dinos and went to, um, let's see. I, uh, isn't there supposed to be a way I can move my cursor on this map? I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, um, I had to go all the way over, like, um, if you look at the, at the map, you know, I'm facing west. I had to go cross the, the two rivers that you see there and then go to that larger mountain um, that's, you know, on the right-hand side, and then there's, me there's metal up there. So I went and got as much metal as I could haul with these dinos here. I didn't take... Um, a mascarita with me because she's just too damn slow. Uh, also, I've got a little bit of bad news. Um, not terrible, super bad news, but our, our Dilo got stuck um, kind of in a hole in some rocks uh, when we were on the Red Peak, and I there's no way I could get her out. Uh, yeah, her. So I just put some meat in her inventory and told her to stay there, and I'll come and get her someday <laughs> when I have a bird. I have to pull her out. So anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got uh, to update you guys on. So there's a couple things I want to do before before we uh, take off here. Oh, by the way, for if you're curious, this is this is what the upstairs looks like. Nothing really too fancy. We just mostly have the bed up here, but I might put some furniture and things up here later, depending upon again how long we stay here. Um, so yeah, metal's been the the biggest pain in the butt, uh, but I like I said, I went and got a load of it as much as I could carry, anyways, before I started this episode. So we're going to need to make some stone gateways um, and a couple of stone gates uh, to make the trap for the Argentavis. And uh, we also need to make a saddle. So let's go into the Ingrams here and learn the Argentavis saddle. Uh, I've got, like, yeah, i got a lot of Ingram points. And in, I don't even know what level I am now. What level am I? <laughs> level 91. Yeah, so level is just super fast. I only have it set to times two and you know in hindsight uh, i probably could even just kept it on default because it just happens so fast uh but you know it'll, it'll it'll get harder and harder of course as as we get higher and higher so anyway uh all right so let's make the argentava saddle which i guess we don't even need to do that in the smithy we can do that in our own inventory uh so let's go here and we will track this and we basically just need chitin fiber in some hide for that, uh, which we have tons of. So let's grab a couple stacks of hide. We got the fiber and then 150 chitin, it said. There we go. And then we have everything we need to make the Archie saddle. Uh, Argentavis are, for those of you who you know, who don't already know this, of course. Um, just an incredibly useful mount. For one thing, they have a bonus uh, with metal uh, where it's it's reduced. The The weight is reduced in their inventory. I can't remember if it's half or, or what it is, but really useful. And, of course, you know, they can carry a lot of the, the smaller dinos. And, you know, once we get an RG, then we can go after, like, an Anki and a, a Dodicarus because we're going to need those two dinos for metal and stone and we're going to probably want to get a wood gathering dino like a beaver or even a theory theories are are good but the problem with theories is you have to really level their weight uh, because they just don't have a really good weight so um you know mammoth is also a good possibility and a couple other dinos too okay so um i think we're good to go we got some food here let's actually get a little bit more of that just bring a full stack with this. We're making tons and tons of narcotic, of course. And actually, let's take some narcotic with us. I've got a... Yeah, 
this bin here is my can, so we'll take a full thing in narcotics. Plus, I got 98 arrows. You have to kind of be careful with Argentavis because you can kill him with the arrows, but um, I guess what I could do is I could I could make some trank arrows. I know how to. Let me see. What is that? Uh, what all does that require? Three narcotic. We would have to use. We'd have to use pretty much all of our rifle ammo. I did make it just a normal long neck rifle. Um, yeah, that might not be a bad idea because here again, there's a fairly high risk of us killing the Argentavis if we use these. So maybe we'll do that. So let's put those in there, put those in there. And, uh, wait, what else did it say we needed? Oh, that needs metal ingots too, doesn't it? Man, that's expensive. Mmm. I just, you know, I, I need to make another refiner. In fact, let's actually do that right now. That is not going to uh, be a big deal. I got my weight up to 300, fortitude's at 30. Let's, um, I want to start thinking about, you know, putting a couple more points into oxygen just because it'll help us when we start doing water stuff. But maybe for now we'll, let's get our health up to 500. Um, oh, left, and look at that, we locked up. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I went ahead and um, got all the materials I needed to make uh, four stone gateways and two reinforced gates, and we can, you know, reuse this uh, multiple times for taming pins. Um, and I also made uh, 63 tranquilizer darts and had about two more crashes in the process, so I don't know what the hell is going on. I thought we had that licked with the, the changing of the NVIDIA reflex setting, but not 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 quite the case. So, yeah, whatever. Okay, so we're going to have to head north to get into Argentavis territory. And so what we're going to do is basically head back to... Um, hold M. Yeah. We're going to head back to the Red Peak, because as far as I'm aware, that's the closest place that uh, we're likely to find Argentavis. So basically, we're going to head to the uh, the northeast, uh, which is basically where I am currently pointing. Since we've more or less already covered that territory uh, in this episode, or not in this episode, in this series, I'm going to cut the camera here, and I will bring you guys back when we get to the red peak and or unless something crazy happens in between now and then all right so see you guys in a bit all right guys there's a level 44 rg over there um raptor down there too i 44 is kind of on the low side i mean uh, even a low level rg is not bad to start with though but kind of like to uh Maybe see if we can hold out for something a little bit better. So let's go up onto the mountain here. And see if we can spot something a little bit better. If not, then if we can come back down this way. It's, um, oh, I need to make a compass too. So basically it's to the southeast. Okay, let's head on up this way. Okay, I don't see anything all the way up here. Um, that mountain straight in front of us is Far's Peak, and there's quite a few Argens uh, around there, so we could move in that direction. Let's kind of go down this side of the mountain for a bit and see what there might... Ooh, we could use an Anki, too. What level are you? I guess I just... Eh, 16, that's pretty low. Pretty darn low.
Let's go this direction. That sounds like an Argent. Uh, no, I think it's a Dimorph caught in that rock. Yeah. Get out of here, cat. The Dimorphs never used to make any noise, so they made them kind of sound like Argents. There's another Anki. But the thing is, is we can, once we get an Argent, then we can just pick an Anki up and go take it back to the base and tame it there. Look at the colors on that guy. He's level 20, though. He's pretty, pretty low level. There's a mic. Either a Microraptor or one of those Ar Ar Arca something or others. They look kind of similar at first. Yeah, that's one of the Arca things. So they won't bother us if we don't run to kill them. Hmm. What was that? It's a wrap. Okay, well, um... That level 44 is the only one that I've seen. I'd really kind of like something a little better than that. So let's um let's head north and see uh, what the deal is. Get the hell out of here, Scorpion! I did have one Thylo attack me too, by the way, but we were able to kill it easy. It was just a low level. I should probably even do a Dino White because... Okay, ooh, look at the colors on that arch. What level are we talking here? Uh, level 5, of course. All the pretty ones are the low levels. You know, now that we have this Carno and the Berry, kind of not really all that interested in Raptors now. That guy didn't steal anything from me, did he? I hear a cat. Just a saber. It's a pteranodon. Is that an arch? No, it's a bear. <laughs> you know, a bear, arch, and Tavis, they're the same, pretty much. There's two RGs right there. Let's get away from them for a second so I can get a glass on them. Uh, Berkman, leave him alone. A 20 and a 50, I think. Depending upon what it is that I'm looking at. Hmm. I'm... Both of them are pretty ugly, though. Not that I don't really care about that a whole lot, but... I just, I don't know, 50's still kind of low, you know? I wonder if we can get all the way through the other end. Can we? Let's see. Now we're going to get stuck. <laughs> are we... Oh, we made it. <laughs> Berkman, what are you doing? Let's 
Come on through the log there, buddy. There you go. Oh, kind of like the blue colors on that guy. What level are we talking here? Level 80 female. Okay. That, uh, I'd go for that. I think we can go for that. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's, um, we need a fairly flat place to set our trap up. Right over here is actually not too bad. Get all these critters out of here. It's the one with the kind of aqua colored wings, right? Is that the one we're doing? I think so. Level 80 female, yeah. Oh, she's coming over here. Okay. She want, She's going after the corpses. Okay, let's set the trap up right here. This is relatively flat. Um, can we bola Argies? Because one thing I could do is just bola her and then set the trap down on her, on top of her. Okay, let's put these here. Uh, let's, you guys follow me and make sure you're passive. I want to see if I can just bola her. Whoops, no, no, no. I don't remember if we can or not. It'll turn... Oh, we can. Okay. Then let's wait for her to come down. We'll bola her, and then we'll just build the trap right over the top of her. Love that blue color. She landed, like, right about here. This wouldn't be a bad spot. Oh, we locked up. Really game of all the times to lock up. Oh, man, I am starting to lose my patience with this, you guys. <laughs> I really am. <sighs> all right, let me reload. I don't, I don't even, I, I, I saved fairly recently, but it's been a little while. So we're probably going to lose this bird. Okay, I found actually found a level 90 bird with similar coloring. Uh, that didn't work. How come it's green, but it's not bullying? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could start just shooting it. It's going to kind of do some... Oops. Uh, do a little bit of damage on me, though. Love the colors, though. Yeah, I don't know why it showed green on the bola, but wouldn't let me actually do the bola. That's weird. Gotta watch our health. I don't have anything to heal. Oh, that sucked. We could, um... Can we shoot off the back of you? We can't, but we can on the berry. Okay. Okay. Turn this way. I want to make these darts are expensive. I want to make sure I ah, fuck. <laughs> Just ready to say, I want to make sure I can get a good shot off and I miss.
You know, the problem with... Yeah, I was going to say, the problem with this is now she's going to run off. Um, okay, let's just... Oh, she's coming back. Okay. Now she's leaving. And now she's coming back. Oh, okay. They must have changed that behavior. Why do we have still have combat music? I don't know. Okay, here you guys come up here. Okay, stay put. Uh, I need to get the. Here, give me all of your of your prime meat, as well as that and that. We need to put uh, some regular meat in here, too. Because that prime's going to spoil pretty soon. We'll have to go get some more. Okay, so. No. Get rid of that. Grab this. Uh, stop snapping. Uh, hold Q to stop snap. There we go. And let's also get into... I'm doing this more to protect the bird from predators than to keep it trapped in. I don't know why it flipped around like that. That was weird. Okay. Let's turn this way. Where are we at? Right here. That's not, that's not the best placement, but it'll have to do. Okay, uh, we're thirsty, so let's drink something. RG's uh, torpor goes down slowly, so we don't have to worry about that. What happened? Oh, you know what? God damn it. Frickin' uh, Pegamastic stole my food. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, so we've got, uh, was that, 27% off of one uh, prime. Unfortunately, I don't have any more prime, so... But, I mean, you know, this is not a, a max level anyways, so we don't have to get a perfect tame. It would be nice to get a decent one, though. So let's see if we can go find some more... Um, just trying to look to see where where I'm at here. Oh, it'll it'll track it for me. Yeah, let's go get some more prime. Um, there's some paraceratheriums down here. I think the diplo might give us some too. So if we can mostly get it to eat prime, we'll be in good shape. <laughs> That'll keep for 17 minutes. That should be enough. So yeah, we'll, we should get a perfect tame um, from this. I think we, it, right now we'll get 44 levels, and it only went down by a tenth of a percent with one prime. So we should get that. That's a nice looking bird, actually. I guess maybe as irritating as it is, it was fortuitous that uh, we crashed because I got a bird with 10 higher levels. Then, because uh, the other one we were going after was a level 80. Fantastic. All right. All right. We got ourselves on Argentavis on a level 90 at that, which isn't pretty, which is pretty good. Um. Okay. So I'm trying to decide what to name this thing. I think I'm just going to name it Sky for now because it's kind of got a sky blue color to it. How you doing there, buddy? Uh, oh, no, you're 
you're actually a female. Okay. Um, I mean, Sky could work for a female too. Sure, why not? Right? Uh, okay, cool. Um, we got an Aki over here. What level is it? Oh, it's just level 16. Okay. Um, funny, funny story. I had to, uh, leave in real life and it is actually the next day <laughs> in real life. Uh, but fortunately, because this is a single player game, I was able to just save it and then close it. Um, I had to, uh, go do some stuff in real life and I just didn't get a chance to come back, um, yesterday to, to finish the, the episode. So yeah, um, very cool. That's certainly one advantage of, you know, playing on a single player game as opposed to a server, because on a server, you know, it keeps going no matter what. Um, let's get on you, and can you get out of here? Not quite. Okay, so this would have actually kept her in if, uh, we were actually using it for that purpose, so that's good to know. Um, there's a Pteranodon flying around. I really like the colors of this bird, man. Very cool. Okay, so, yes, we got ourselves an Argent Tavis now. Um, and if I, if that was a high level ink, or if we come across one, I could even just pick it up and, and take it, uh, take her home, uh, or take it home with us. So, um, we have accomplished this goal. Uh, wait, didn't I just tell you to hold still? I guess I didn't. Where'd you go? Come here. Okay. Um, so let's pick up our uh, trap here. And then we will... I don't know what we'll do, actually. I'm, in fact, I, I'm not even sure <laughs> how long I've been recording this episode because, again, it's the next day. Um... But it would be good to to find uh, an Anki or a Dodic. Well, we need both of them eventually. But yeah, this one's just a little too little too little uh, in terms of level. So we could have these dudes follow us. Uh, just follow the bird, and we could keep flying around. And if anything happens, of course they can. They can deal with it. You know what I should do, though, especially since I am going to be on a flyer, is have everybody follow me, make sure everybody's on neutral. So that way, if I get pulled off by a thylo, um, you know, they'll they'll help rescue me. Um, the other thing I should also do is I record your stats just because... Um, you know, I, I could breed her. I mean, ideally, we would really want a max level or at least a little bit higher level. Uh, she'll definitely be fine, you know, for us to start out. But the thing is, is if I could if I could tame a high level male, then we could just breed his stats uh, onto the baby using her. Um, and, you know, with that being actually, the more I think about that, recording her stats kind of doesn't matter. But I think I'll do it anyways, just just so we have them. So give me a sec to do that. Okay, so I got those uh, stats created now. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? Weight, weight is very important on Nargent Tavis because they're generally a utility bird, though you certainly can use them for combat too. Um, but I think our biggest uh, use for the bird, for this bird, is going to be weight as a utility bird. So, I mean, I'll probably put it some points into health. And maybe get stamina up to at least mm, probably 1,200 maybe. Uh, but let's start uh, by giving giving her a point in weight. She already has like crazy melee damage, um, like all the dinos seem to in in this game <laughs> when you tame them. Uh, so not a bad thing, of course. So we don't have to necessarily level it as much as we otherwise would. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Let's fly around a bit and see if we can actually find a decent level. Anki or Dodicarus. I'll take either one because we need both of them. And uh, when we do find one, you know, then we'll pick it up and take it back to the base. Uh, the other thing we need to do, too, is we need to start thinking about moving inland um, and, you know, moving to a little bit more central location. Um, but, you know what, though? I was, um, 
I was thinking about just... Well, I have, I have two thoughts in mind, okay? If we... Get out of here, bugs. If we look at the map here, um, the kind of lagoon off to the left uh, in, the, in the southwest part of the Redwoods that's got that little island in the middle, that is more or less the same location that I had my uh, original permanent base in my first, first player uh, single player game back when our first came out in 2015. But at the time, like I had mentioned to you guys before, it wasn't Redwoods at that point. It was kind of more like a meadow. But it is it is more or less the same location. Uh, and it's a nice location because it's kind of central. I mean, it's it's more, you know, it's closer to the west coast than the east coast, but it's still fairly central. Um, so we could actually base up there um, and live in the Redwoods. So I've never actually lived in the Redwoods in any, uh, any arc game that I've ever played. Um, so that could be fun. Uh, advantages of being in the Redwoods would be we'd have quick access to sap, you know, from the Redwood trees, for example. Um, or the other option, like I had talked about earlier, is for us to um, to um, live at the Red Obby. Um, if we do that, we're going to have to haul in metal in particular, but that's not necessarily going to be too difficult of a task if we have a good solid RG and a good solid Anki. And the advantage of doing that, of course, is that it we're right there at the obby for when the time comes for us to start doing bosses. So I have to kind of give that some thought, but, you know, it isn't and never has been my intention for us to stay uh, where we currently are. That was just kind of our starter base, um, and we're starting to get to the point, especially when we can start bringing... I'm going to have to really pay attention to these guys and make sure they're not uh, getting left behind, because um, I can't pick either one of these critters up with an Argentavis. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't remember what I, oh, it, it, yeah, it, when we get to the point where we can start really bringing in the metal, that, that's kind of a, the next phase of the game. We kind of start to transition out of early game into mid game. And we really want to kind of have our permanent base figured out at that point, just because I don't want to, you know, gather up a whole bunch of shit and, uh, at our permanent, our, our current base and then have to move it again, you know, um, what level are you? You're level 60 female. Yeah, nah. I'm generally probably not going to get an, another RG unless it's a high level male. I would still tame another high, you know, perfect level or, yeah, max level female too for breeding purposes. But anything that's less than 90, um, we probably won't mess with. So anyway, okay. I, yeah, like I said, I got to pay attention to these guys. So, uh, like I said, I, I kind of don't know exactly where we're going to be at for time in this episode. So I think we're going to go ahead and just wrap it up here. And I'm going to work my way back uh, to the current base with the guys and uh, kind of get situated. And then I think what we'll do in the next episode is we will we'll start to look for uh, what, what will be our permanent base location. And I just have to kind of think about where I want that to be. Uh, so, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.